Hello, and welcome to the physical therapy presentation from Boston University. My name is Diane Heislein, and I'm the program director for the physical therapy programs here at Boston University. And first of all, I wanna congratulate each and every one of you. This is a highly competitive program to get into, and you should be congratulated on your efforts of getting accepted into this program. What I wanna do in this brief video is to share a little bit about our program and some of the things you might consider as you make your final choices as to where you wanna to go to school and study physical therapy. So from a perspective of the world of physical therapy, the career outlook continues to be very good. Each year, the Bureau of Labor Statistics maps out the projected needs of various professionals and physical therapy continues to demonstrate a need for growth. If you look over the past 10 years, there's been a continual need that there are not enough physical therapists to meet the demands of the population. So we do expect that job security will be there. And US News and World Reports annually ranks the best jobs. And this year, physical therapy lands at number 21 out of the top 100 best jobs. Most of the jobs in that upper end are often in the healthcare sector and physical therapy has consistently been pretty high for quite a number of years now. And part of this is related to job satisfaction with the type of work we do, in addition to being able to make a living wage to support your lifestyle and family. Here at Boston University, we have two pathways into our physical therapy program. All of you have been accepted into our accelerated six-year combined Bachelor of Science in Health Studies and the Doctor of Physical Therapy degree program. And we'll talk more about that program in specifics. We'll also talk about the Doctor of Physical Therapy program, where we also accept students who have already graduated with a bachelor's degree and are looking to become physical therapists. They take a variety of core science courses that you will be taking in your undergraduate coursework to get admitted into this program, and they are combined with you in the summer of your junior year to create our entire class for the PT program. So why consider coming to Boston University to study physical therapy? I think there's a number of compelling reasons that make our program stand out compared to others, and I want to share these different components of our program. We'll talk about the curriculum and the learning environment here at Boston University. I'll speak about our faculty and their high qualifications to teach you, the research we have going on here, and the clinical centers that provide physical therapy care. We'll talk about the academic practicum course, which is a unique capstone project we do near the end of our curriculum for students to do an in-depth examination of a particular topic they're interested in. And we'll talk about clinical education and the outcomes of our graduates in this program. There are currently 261 accredited physical therapy programs in the country. The majority of them are all at the graduate level, meaning you have to have an undergraduate degree to get into those programs. There are about between 40 to 50 that offer this combined undergraduate graduate program, and BU has been offering this type of program ever since the field moved from the bachelor's to the master's degree as the entry level into the profession. We have been accredited as a physical therapy program since 1931, so we have a great long-standing track record of educating physical therapists. In the combined program, your pre-professional curriculum is really the first three years of your study here at BU. You'll be taking core coursework that is required of all physical therapy students, and it includes a strong science background. So you'll be taking courses like biology, anatomy, physiology, chemistry, and physics on campus with other students from Boston University. In addition, we require students to take several core Sargent College courses that are based in health and rehabilitation so that you have a broad perspective of those fields prior to going into physical therapy education. But what I think is so unique about our program in particular is the amount of flexibility that we're able to offer you even in this accelerated combined program. Most students, if they desire to do a semester abroad are able to make that work within their first three years. We typically recommend students do that in their junior year. We have had other students who are interested in completing a minor and even a few who've also done a double major while they're also doing this combined accelerated program. These are often our overachievers, but it's definitely doable. Students have done minors in public health, minors in business, minors in deaf studies. So there are a variety of minors throughout the university that you could consider completing along with your physical therapy education. And I'm sure you're hearing a lot about the BU Hub. 
in other informational sessions from the university. Our curriculum is designed in such a way that you can meet all of the hub requirements that Boston University expects all students to attain prior to graduation while you are in the combined program. Our DPT curriculum starts in the junior year, typically with gross anatomy in the spring semester. And then in the summer after your junior year, you will start taking physical therapy classes. Once you are in that curriculum, you are only taking professional graduate courses for the remaining three years. So your senior year is actually the first year of graduate level coursework. When you're in the DPT curriculum, our classes are about 75 students in each class, a combination of the class that comes in at that undergraduate level, you guys, um, combined with these other students that we're bringing in as graduate students. We feel that this class size allows you to have a large, rich group of peers to work with, but we also make sure that you get the one-on-one -on -one attention that you need whenever you're doing any hands-on skill training. So we bring in additional instructors when you're in the lab-based courses and learning skills so that the ratio of the instructor to student stays low. And typically we have in those lab settings a ratio of one instructor for every six to eight students. It's a very low ratio so that you get the one-on-one -on -one feedback during training to develop the skills that you are learning. I'll talk more about our faculty in their area of expertise in just a moment. But I think this is another component where we excel in physical therapy education based on who our faculty are and what they teach. In addition to teaching, we provide a fairly robust amount of academic support and advising to the physical therapy students right from the freshman year all the way through the end of the program. When you are here as an undergraduate student, you will have a faculty member in the department as your advisor. And when you start the DPT curriculum, you will transition to a new faculty member who is one of the physical therapy faculty who will stay with you throughout the end of the curriculum. And these advisors can provide guidance on career choices, writing letters of recommendation, and other um, needs like that. So it's always important to get to know your advisors well. In addition, the college offers academic support and advising as do the, does the university. So we feel that there is a really robust support system for students to be successful here. We have many upperclassmen who enjoy mentoring students in the program and are willing to share their time to help others. We have a student-led group of physical therapy students to help integrate students into student activities related to physical therapy. So I think you'll find there's a fair amount of support from classmates as well as upperclassmen in the program. Our faculty, I think, are one of the highlights of our program and one of our greatest strengths. When you look at our faculty, they are very well qualified to be teaching in our program. They're experts in their specialty area and have a broad range of board certified um, experts to meet the requirements of delivering a strong curriculum in physical therapy. Most of our faculty who teach clinical applications and hands-on skills are board certified clinical specialists in, the areas, in their areas of expertise. We have board certified specialists in orthopedics, neurology, cardiovascular and pulmonary care, and geriatrics. And all of these faculty are also still active in clinical practice in addition to their full-time faculty roles. They do some clinical practice so they are very current on contemporary practice issues and can bring that directly back into the classroom. Other faculty are primarily research faculty who run various research labs on campus and within Sargent and then are really pushing the field on finding the evidence and translating that evidence into clinical practice. So our faculty members range from doing clinically based research related to using robotics to restore the ability to walk after a person has had a stroke, to looking at changing movement patterns to reduce knee pain in patients who have knee arthritis, to looking at changing movement patterns in patients who have hip issues to avoid developing hip arthritis later in life. We have faculty who do research in the realm of Parkinson's disease, and are looking at ways to enhance function in persons with that disorder. And then we have faculty who do more basic research in muscle physiology and are examining the role of changes in muscle with aging that impacts how patients, how people function later in life. So we really do cover a wide range of research that is clinically relevant to physical therapy practice, in addition to research that happens at the university at large. And many of our students have the opportunity to volunteer or work in these research labs. Some of our students do collaborative work as part of their education and integrate with some of the PhD students that are in our programs as well. We also have two clinical centers that are on site at Boston University. The Center for Neurorehab is on the sixth floor of Sargent 
and that center provides both clinical care for patients with neurological disorders and also does a fair amount of research. This is where the research related to Parkinson's disease happens. And at the other end of campus near the Aganis Arena in the Ryan Center is the Boston University Physical Therapy Center, which is an outpatient, primarily orthopedically based clinical practice where we hire staff to provide physical therapy clinical care for the BU community and the Boston community. And we also have a lot of our students do their clinical training there. Some of our students work there or do volunteer hours there. So many of our students get to work with the clinicians in that practice setting. And the majority of those clinicians are also teaching in our labs for the academic program. So we have this nice connection between this clinical center that is providing clinical care and in our training labs in the academic classrooms. One of the highlights of our curriculum that we think is unique is this academic practicum where we allow students to complete a two semester course where they can focus on a particular topic of interest for them. So we have students do individual projects working with a mentor across a wide range of interests based on what they wanna do. We have students complete projects related to education. Many students complete community-based service projects. Some students do projects related to research. And sometimes they're tying these experiences of being in the research labs into their practicum projects and then presenting that research at national conferences. In every year, students choose different types of projects and the range is quite wide in what they're exploring. This is just a sampling of a few of the projects students have completed in the past. We always seem to have a group of students interested in dance and a number of them will work in these various types of programs available in the Boston area related to inclusion for those with disabilities. We have students work at Rosie's Place, a homeless shelter for women in the greater Boston area. And we have at times been able to run an adaptive wheelchair sports clinic for individuals who use wheelchairs and our students run these programs completely under the guidance of their mentors. So there's a lot of activity that goes along with these courses that is very satisfying both to the students and the faculty. Another component you would probably want to consider closely when you're looking at physical therapy programs is where do they have their clinical education and what breadth and depth do they offer? This is just a sampling of the types of healthcare institutions we place our students in across their range of clinical education experiences. Currently, our program requires students to complete about 40 weeks of full-time clinical education, which exceeds the accreditation minimum standards. But we feel this additional training provides our students with greater skills in clinical practice by the time of graduation. And many of our graduates are highly sought after by these types of clinical partners because they know the skill sets our students have. We have about 500 clinical sites in our database that we have contracts with for clinical education. And we probably use about half of them each year in placing our students based upon availability that these providers can give us and on the types of experience students are seeking while ensuring that students have a well-rounded range of experiences throughout their clinical education. Another component I want to point out about our program is our graduate outcomes. These outcomes are required by our, our accreditation body to be posted on our website. So you can find this data on all accredited DPT programs in the country. I would like to note that our graduates do very well in passing their board's licensure exams. Our first time pass rate is 98%. So we do very well in preparing our students to sit for their licensure exams. Our current graduation rate is 90%. This reflects all the students who start the DPT program. So it's a bit different than students who start the six year combined program because, because some of those students um, in the first couple of years at the undergraduate level may decide they're not interested in physical therapy and transfer out of the program but we track our graduate outcomes from the time students enter the DPT program, which would be at the end of your junior year. And our employment rates for our graduates has been consistently at 100%. And this is in part due to the demand for physical therapists around the country and the desire of employers to hire our graduates. And our graduates are everywhere now. If you look at where our graduates are practicing, many are in outpatient clinics, they're in hospitals, you can look at this list to see where our graduates are currently practicing. Some have more niche settings, such as the performing arts. We have several graduates working for professional sports organizations like the NBA and the NFL. And our students do very well, and it is always great to see them at our annual alumni event that we host at one of our national conferences to hear all the exciting things they're doing in the field of physical therapy. I wanna bring this to your attention. 
It's a video you might look up on the web to give you a sneak peek into our DPT classroom. The audio wouldn't run well within this presentation, so I've provided the link on the on uh, provided a YouTube link for you if you want to watch it. It highlights how we bring patients into the neurolog with neurological disorders into our labs so that students will get exposure to patients before they even get into their clinical education experiences. You will see that they're working in small groups with an instructor, but we also have these patients who come in who complement the learning experience. This is about a four minute video if you have time to look at it. And I would suggest that you take a quick peek. The gentleman, Peter, who is highlighted in this particular video has been coming back year after year to do this. And he's almost like one of our faculty in some ways based on how well he interacts with our students. So it's really definitely worth a look if you have time. And lastly, I just wanna say that Boston University is a fabulous city to come to, to go to college in. It's a big college city. There's, lot, there's tons to do within the city. Students love being here on campus. It's a very vibrant place to live. I've always lived in this area of the country and really enjoy it. And I have also put a link to our program here at the bottom. I'm sure many of you have already found it, but in case you wanna come back and look at some components specifically about the combined Bachelor of Science and Health Studies Doctor of Physical Therapy program as you are making your decisions.